Hi, my name is Christian Pinedo, and I'm a learning facilitator at the TGR Learning Lab in Anaheim, California. In today's Slime and Fun video, we're going to do a little experiment to find the secret of getting the fluffiest pancakes. To get started, let's gather our supplies. I have two large mixing bowls, three smaller bowls, and some baking powder to prepare our batter. Nearly two cups of all-purpose flour, four tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk, two large eggs, and two tablespoons of butter. All right, first, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. Go ahead and combine your flour, salt, and sugar and mix it until it's just combined. We're not gonna add any baking powder just yet. And in a second bowl, we're gonna combine our wet ingredients. That'll be your milk, eggs, and melted butter. It's best to add these when they're about at room temperature. Go ahead and mix these around until they're fully combined as well. Now when you're ready, we're going to pour this right into our flour mixture. We're just going to gently stir the mixture until it's combined. We don't want to overwork the batter. So it's okay if your batter has lumps in it. We don't need it to be completely smooth. Now, we're going to separate our batter into three smaller bowls to conduct our experiment. We're doing this so we can test out the three different amounts of baking powder to find out which one was the perfect amount to make our pancakes sweaty. I'm going to keep one bowl as is and not add any baking powder at all. In the other two bowls, I'll add half a teaspoon, and the last bowl will have a whole teaspoon in it. Just gently mix in your baking powder and once your batter is ready, we're ready to cook. You can use a lot of things to cook your pancakes, like a pan, a skillet, whatever works best for you. I'm gonna use a non-stick pan, and I'm just gonna place it over medium heat and scoop in my batter one pancake at a time. As you cook your pancakes, you know they're ready to flip when your batter starts to bubble all over the top and the edges start to get a little bit dry. Go ahead and make all the batter, but be sure to separate the pancakes depending on which batch they're coming from. We're going to compare all the different pancakes when they're done to see which amount of baking powder worked best. Alright, now that our pancakes are done, which ones do you think came out best? Let's talk about the science behind our fluffy pancakes. In our experiment, we tested how baking powder affected the fluffiness of our pancakes. Now baking powder is something called a leavening agent in baking. It uses a simple chemical reaction to add molecules of gas to our pancakes when they cook. Baking powder is made with an acid and a base that are combined but haven't reacted with each other yet. When they do react, they create a carbon dioxide gas. And to make them react, all you need to do is add some moisture and some heat. Now you can see this if you put some baking powder into some warm water. The acid and base combine and they create a carbon dioxide gas. And this carbon dioxide gas is what makes our batter rise and makes the pancake so fluffy. So I guess the trick was just a little bit of chemistry. Thanks for joining me in today's STEM Unplug video. I hope you enjoyed our little experiment and have some yummy pancakes to share with your family. Be sure to like and share this video for more videos to come soon. Until then, see you next time.